How's it going, YouTube? It's me, Dark, back with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, yeah, we're going straight back off. These intros are just there. Okay, so last time we left off, it's Sunday, and Natsuki's coming over so we can help her with her stuff. So, yeah, let's continue. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I kept telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help me. <clears throat> I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it's turned into a conversation. It's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things. I kind of saw that one coming. Putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a sing from Cyrus since. She left the club early the other day. It kind of scares me. It's not like we text each other all the time on the thing, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Cyrus said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Cyrus' feelings aside when she might need it? Might need me? I need to visit Cyrus before not seeing her coming over, rather than asking her simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we did in the past. Once I reach Cyrus' house, I knock on the door before entering it. There's no music, I'm scared. Again, we used, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. Please don't. The house is quiet. No. No. I swear to God. Cyrus isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Don't do this game. game I swear. I'm scared now. Ah, oh, so much stranger for her not to run down and greet me. Please don't do this. I'm gonna end an episode in this part. I head to the retro when I finally find her. Cyrus? Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Oof! Oh man, I got scared. Hi, Doc! I sit down in her room. Cyrus forced a smile, but it's easier to tell she's different. So there's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? <clears throat> uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Besides being as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animal and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you come over more often, it, would be, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. I probably suddenly wanted to come over today. <coughs> She's supposed to see Natsuki. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I just. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, but. Wait, how'd you know that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her alone. I don't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Sarah stares in a random direction. Everything in my behaviour is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you do it. we were doing. After you left on Friday, when something was wrong. You, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sarah smiles and shakes her head. That's not too dark. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. <coughs> you wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just a punishment, isn't it? You get punished for being so selfish. I think that's why, I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> what? Sarah? How could you say that and just laugh? I grab Sarah by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know I would be able to stop thinking about it. Give me an empty smile. You already put me in a trap, Doc. You already put me in a trap, Doc. But you're wrong. 
Nothing has happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing her for the first time. Seeing what? Why are you talking about Sarah? <laughs> You're only just going to make me say it, aren't you, Dark? I guess I have no choice this time. That's serious. <coughs> I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? <sighs> because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know I'm restless on my own? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just feel, I just want, I just want to make everyone happy. Not anyone worry about me. <coughs> yeah, I am in shock. Not just you, I am too. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sarah kept this from me the entire time that I had not known? Did you really want so badly for me to not think about her? Wait, why, Sarah? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. If I knew I would have done everything I could support you, even if there's only so much that I could do, I had have tried a little harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. <clears throat> you don't understand at all, Dark. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wa I to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. But you are cared about. <laughs> <coughs> oh, but, but don't do this. It's very sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like that being swung against my head. <laughs> Stop laughing after you say all these things. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get close with everyone in the club, it feels like a spirit goes through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand you, your feelings at all, Syra. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, oh, Dark. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that can have helped me is that if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. Let me show you what a horrible person I am. Don't, not that face again. Not that face. I made, <coughs> I made you join the military club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart for hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you've come here and made, I made you hurt too. You're just weak and selfish. Don't <laughs> that face. I can't take it. That's all I am, and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I want to grab her shoulders and start pulling her into a tight embrace. <laughs> Dark? Sarah, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing your feelings makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dark. Dara isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sarah, her arms remain on her sides. So sobbing next to my ear. No. <coughs> don't do this to me. Please, don't do this. Dark. I... I barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. <coughs> no one knows that I care. 
if you have and you to call yourself selfish then you have to let me be selfish too no matter what it takes I'll figure out what needs to change I'll make these feelings go away and if there's anything that you need me to do then you better tell me I'll get mad if you don't I don't know I don't know I don't know gently sound and finally puts her arms around me in return I don't know anything it's all really scary I don't understand any of my feelings, Dad. The only time I'm not feeling less is when I'm feeling pain. But, your arms are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sammy lets me go. She doesn't let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. Let me spend it. For me to spend it more with you. Uh, um, uh. It's what I want, I promise. Uh, I think that would be nice then. Yeah? Sarah wipes her eyes. If I could spend a whole day here, I would. Of all days, this ha has to happen, the one, the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Natalie to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. So Sarah shakes her head. I'm sorry. I won't. Please. <coughs> I don't... I don't know if I... If that would be a very... Be very good for me today. I don't understand that. Uh... It's kind, of, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> I can't do a voice today. Oh my god. Don't worry too much about it. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Say goodbye to Sarah and her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. It's hard for me to keep things about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sarah is right. I should be, be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few months back at home and anxiously waiting for Natsuki's arrival before I know she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay I open the front door to let her in. So, hey. She looked different. No, she doesn't. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing that is in something other than school uniform totally threw me off. It does just throw you off, I don't know why. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Yeah. Jeez, don't make me feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming. Oh, this is a nice kitchen I have. I see you bought a lot of stuff. This is kind of large by now, probably from the baker's mess. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out your kitchen isn't equipped with a job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Y yeah, I did. Yes, and I'll see after we bunch of leaving, so I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you. I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly saying that rather than something snarly like you she does. Could it be that she's a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where is your hospitality, Dark? Come on, since when did I need to be a gentleman? I replied, oh, Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried, I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed, Mr. Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits. <laughs> no, not again. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Uh, um. It's not like I hate it, 
I mean, sometimes I like provoking people wrong when they say, oh, they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be smaller and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you could help to be all weird just because we're out of school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Uh huh. What? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you're treating me like a kid. I was trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. Just because I don't have a mature and saintly figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like. Uh. Nasuki catches her words and twice turns around. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything. I should have always yeah? I appreciate that you that you were trying to be nicer. I'd be a little more considerate too. But also, if that what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, uh, how would you know how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey. Was that to me? Who else? <laughs> Let's just get started. Uh huh. You're all sour when a girl calls you gross. I can't really find your weakness, Dark. She smiles dubiously. Please spare me. She also you have to dish out more insults like that. There's no way we're going to not find that. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, starting to pull things out of her bag, we start get started. <coughs> Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilt, spilt fluids, and plastic bags have stolen about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious bacon. Dark. Where did you put the food colouring? The better going. The better. Batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the tray. Sink is in the bag next to you on the table. What are you using it for? To colour the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different colour. That way, even if the flavours are different, everyone can still pick their flavour. Oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Are we doing anything like that with icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on. You're not, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, uh, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food colour in each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun, I think that's it. It's a million times. It's a million times more worse in the end. If I'm just looking at it, making everyone's eyes light up, light up, like the one, like the ones you made on, like the ones you made on the first day, huh? I really, I really call that to be proudly learned to catch it, Captain. And Sire and Monica do hide expressions. I wonder if I can make that to be proud like that too. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food colouring. Yeah, let's get in there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I, I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl of icing. Uh, the icing's still all lumpy. Are we even trying? Well, yeah. It just takes a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do like that. Here, look. She grabs a whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bottle back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, after a few seconds, the constancy of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize that, she sticks her finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I really couldn't start to do the same. Hey! It grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting you did all the work? I fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. 
Don't make me beat the crap out of you, Nick. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Fish harder and just the mess of our fingers to reach the ice soon. Can't fully scoop something my fingers just that's the toast of it all that might. <laughs> the force of that's the pulling me caused me to stumble. Make her stumble in turn. Grouse! You got it on my face. Whose fault is that then? Um, there's a big glob of ice in the nuts of his cheek. Mm -hmm. She tries to reach me with her tongue, but it's way too far. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Nancy says, wipes it, wipes it off her finger before shoving it towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist and put my hand uh, with my hand before reaching my face. Nancy so tries to use her hand to fight back, but I grab the other one as well. Oh, damn. <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't. I know I don't mean it. It is the cutest picture I've ever seen of Natsuki that is. I'm just it's fun seeing you react to it. You do that all the time with me, you know. Saying dumb things just for your reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Take Natsuki's your finger and put it in my mouth, licking all the icing off. That's a little too far. What? Did, did you seriously just do that? Ah. Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. No, no, this is cute. Look at her eyes. She's all like... The face is entirely red. Dark? You really shouldn't do that kind of things to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? It's not really a question, so how did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... I can't be in silence. No, this is the cutest picture of oh, that's tricky so far. Let's go show it first. Staring, oh, I must have feel busy. Oh. I know where uh, the fire alarm starts to go off, god damn it. I'm actually over to the oven. Is something burning? I saw you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> oh, that's good timing. No wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Let's give an oven to grab the blanket tray out of the oven. <coughs> Shit's on top of the stove. You know the moment the fire alarm stops. Anyway. I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Touch them in the moment before it still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already not been lost. I watch Natsuki slide the cupcakes tray into the oven. I'm glad I chose Natsuki. She, she's way more fun than you. She, she was just like... <laughs> then I re reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Uh, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to put. We pulled out the oven. Soon enough, we opened the oven door. A blast of sweet smelling warm uh, fills the air. Warm smell fill. I don't know. Look, look at how cute they are. Oh, look. She proudly shows off the different coloured cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. About decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. His scoop the icing into the bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nuzzle these nuzzles that we will make to look nice and fluffy. This cannot this one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using using it this time though. What's this one for? I picked up one of the nozzles that Sino tip for the others. That one is really simple. You could use it to make stripes or other patterns. We could also use it to write stuff on a cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Hmm, I see. It gives me an idea actually. Huh? Well, it's a literary club event, right? We can make it more literary themed by writing different words on each cupcake. 
It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on words they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea. Uh huh. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You, can, you can't you can dress an act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, not people with trails off. Same as you, eh? Did you say something? N no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Not so you can fix up the pace and that's the sort of fix the face on each of the others' bags. There's a lot to do. We we shouldn't waste time. Here, I'll show you how to make how to do it. You're not giving me a chance to think about before Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we can't read anymore. She shows me how to apply the icing, then we each get to work. Dun 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 When we finally finish, Natsuki puts the notes all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are all together. Yes, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason we can't, right? I don't see any harm in it. But, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Uh-huh. Sarah's the exact opposite in that regard. If she were here, she'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. She would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. <laughs> it's your fault for working so slowly. You feel sad about that. Not like you're always having this chance. Man, this is all that's to blame on me. You can bring cupcakes tomorrow, right? <clears throat> if you and Sara each carry some, then you'll probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Huh? Yeah. I again think about the conversation I had with Sarah earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sarah always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed. Good work today. Yeah, you too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like this afternoon was one day like it. Yeah, it did. More than that. Did I even take you guys yet closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having the best chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga, I'll go some out somewhere. Uh, do, do you really mean that? She looks at me tensely, she, like she's trying to hide her expressions. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Dark? I thought you only cared about getting this done. But I'm sorry, I have to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel this I feel the same way as you, so oh, suddenly gets close to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks at me. Fingers clutching the side of my shirt and holding on to me. Her rose-coloured cheeks match my eyes, fill my vision along with slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy and I feel a stop breath against me. I, I felt it for a, for a while now. What's he on the jump spot? Siren? Yeah. Uh, oh, the hell. <laughs> Hi, Derek. Siren? Just now we weren't... <laughs> Okay, Derek. I just uh, mm, damn. I can't do a voice of it. Just cough it off. I just thought I'd say hi.
Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Uh, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'm still see you at the festival tomorrow, so, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. <laughs> Clearly flustered not to see Harry's off and Sarah waves goodbye. Sarah, so do you think won't come over today? Uh, well, I... <coughs> oh my god. I tried staying in my room, but my information was really mean to me. So I had to come over and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun me was having with Natalie. And I can't see that too. It makes me really happy. <laughs> she wears such good friend. <laughs> no, can't look at her face anymore. That's all that matters to me. Tears start falling down Sally's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I getting to do this? <sighs> How am I doing this for crying voice? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why is this real life? <laughs> hurt so much. It would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sorry, don't say that. But you were dark. If it wasn't for you. <coughs> oh, God damn it. If I wasn't here. It's, mm. Even if you wouldn't like to be here with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just. Monica? Monica's right about what? Sorry? Why I said before is. It's true. I'm not going to let this continue. Care about you is just the burden your mind is making it up to make up be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade anything with else. So even if it takes the entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you feel, don't feel any more pain. <laughs> Sarah looks away. Did Monica tell her to kill herself? Did Monica just tell her to forget I ever existed or? I put my hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, dark. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sarah? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. <coughs> Sarah? It's true, isn't it? I was weak against her. I didn't like you too much. I did this myself. Dark. I love you so much that I need to die. I thought of you. And That's enough, Sarah. I don't want you to hurt anyone. I slide my hands down Sarah's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I was always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Word wordlessly, Sarah nods. Even if you don't understand that, or even if you don't understand all, all of your own feelings, I know what you need most right now, and that's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to quickly save at this part just so I don't make the wrong decision. I don't think this decision had anything to worry about, so... Um, wait, how long have I been recording for? I think... Should we, should we, should we stop there? I don't really know. Should we, should we stop there? 30 minutes. I think that's enough, but... Oh, what should we do? What should we do? Should we still go? I know what to pick. Should we still go? Actually, I don't know what to pick. You'll be always be my dearest friend. I'm actually... I'm actually stuck here. Like... Before Natsuka came up, I would definitely say said, I love you, but... I don't know anymore. Oh, damn this, I saved it, I don't even care. I love you. <laughs> Those are my true feelings. There's no way you could feel more than I like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with you every day at the club, everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with every you every day, helped me realize that you are truly important to me. That's why I accept any of your burdens. As soon as we continue like this every day, as so long with you by my side, then I'll know we'll both be happy.
Is there a way to, um, hmm. like, oh, yeah, there is. Such a good photo. Anyway, is that what it looked like? I knew I'd be wearing black for some reason, I just knew it. Anyway, suddenly Sarah wraps her arm, her tightly around me. Doc, is this really okay? Yeah. I hope Sarah is in my arms and pulls me close. I hold Sarah. You'll never have to let. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Doc. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sarah's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sarah? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I'm always. <coughs> I'm always supposed to be the happiest woman of my life. But why? Look at them now. Why won't my rain clouds go away? So I'm not going away at all, Doc. It's okay, Sarah. It might take some time for me things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, so will be it. So I really step out of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I trust you. Sarah and I slowly release each other. So. Guess I'll make the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want you to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as always, but I don't know who we are now. A couple. I'm not very sure if I can handle anything more right now. I just really need and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever plate pace suits you best. Hey, Tarek! Tarek is in the room. Once again, smiling sadly. Even even if I really if I get really really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? Yeah. I don't really understand what Sarah means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sarah? <coughs> well, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of songs were between me and other <coughs> That's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt so uncertain when it comes to Sarah. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I have as, as much trouble understanding Sarah's feelings as she is, even though I've been comfortable for her. I keep wondering. If I should be doing something more or something different, I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sarah meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it every everything I've got. Sarah's the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. We're in this place slowly now. I think we should end it here. The day of the festival. Yeah. Um. Oh, wow. Alright, that was a different episode. Things are starting to get a little interesting, you know? Natsuki. I like Natsuki better now. Monica said something to Sarah, but I don't know what, and it's scaring me. And me and Sarah are now, you know, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe for more. Join the Discord, link's in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one. Wah.